Today we have something that we really need to really talk about that affects just about everybody out there in this uh, country. And we're talking about Thanksgiving dinner this year with you and your family. Now, why am I bringing that up at this point in time? Well, it turns out folks that there is a shortage on turkeys this year. Large turkeys, small turkeys, middle-sized turkeys, turkey breasts, there's a large shortage that is going on because of the bird flu that came through earlier this year. Now, I'm not saying you're not gonna be able to find some of these turkeys in some of your stores. A lot of stores may not have some of these turkeys, but if they do have them, you're going to be paying a lot of money for these turkeys this year. So today we're going to be talking about your Thanksgiving dinner and why it is important that you start doing your shopping now. We don't know what is going to take place with the whole railroad situation and we don't know how far down the pike we are before the diesel fuel runs out. So I would highly suggest that if you could start putting away some of the things that you're going to use for the upcoming holiday season, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. If you can start buying some of that stuff now and either freeze it or store it away if it's canned goods or whatever, if it's going to last between now and then, I would highly suggest that you start putting together your shopping list for your upcoming holiday festivities that you want to make sure that you have for you and your family. You may have something that you do on a yearly basis. It's tradition in your home. So if you can find those products now, I would highly suggest that you start buying some of these products before they may be gone because a lot of the different traditional holiday festival foods is what a lot of people make. Now you do have some people that like to uh, substitute certain things like ham for turkey, turkey for ham. Uh, you know, some people like to do ducks uh, or goose, these type of things. It is all on what you really like or what your family does during this holiday season. The point of this video is it is very important for you to try to secure these things that you're going to be needing, whether it is canned green beans, uh, canned peas, maybe it is frozen products, maybe you buy frozen broccoli, maybe you buy frozen green beans, your soups. Soups are a big thing during the holiday season. Your cream soups, cream of celery, cream of mushroom, cream of broccoli, your cheddar soups. Uh, some people like to put those in some of their dishes also. There are a lot of things that maybe you can't buy and your fresh type of produce and things of this nature because it will not last, which I totally understand. Or if you have a favorite bakery you go to to buy your pies and if you're going to buy breads and this type of stuff. But there are things that you can pre-buy now. If you could find a turkey that's gonna fit the size that you need for your family, I would suggest that you pick it up now. Yes, it may cost you more, but in the long run, you're gonna be able to have already purchased that bird and you're not gonna to have to worry about not being able to find one that is gonna be big enough to feed the family that's gonna be at your home for the holidays. Maybe you like to do ham on Christmas, or maybe you do a duck or a goose or something like that. Maybe see if you can purchase those things now. They are in stores. I have seen them in stores and yes, they are very pricey just like everything else. But some stores are starting to run some specials on some of the canned goods that you may like to buy. So you may wanna do your homework in your own local area and see what is on sale because I'm sure most of you out there already know what it is you're going to have for Thanksgiving, what you have for Christmas, and what you like to have on New Year's. 
So if you can nip all that in the butt right now, and you can purchase a lot of those different goods, it just takes a lot of stress off you during the holiday season that is fast approaching. And this way here, you can maybe sit back and enjoy a little bit more instead of being stressed over that you can't find that canned yam somewhere or that can of green beans to make a green bean casserole or the can of yams that, you know, your Aunt Millie likes because she's been eating those for years with the brown sugar and the butter and everything else, you know. So some of these things you may want to try to grab now while the products are still on the shelves because a lot of people wait till about the week out before thanksgiving and then you do this massive buying at that point in time and we don't know if those products are all going to be on those shelves at that point in time so it's better to be prepared than sorry like i said you probably already know what you are going to be fixing from your main dish right down to your dessert on Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. Sometimes a lot of people just like a lot of different snack foods and everything else and just have like a little party and everybody just kind of like munches and everything like that. So you could buy a lot of those different products now, especially if they are frozen. And this way here, you know what? You got it all done, it's all out of the way. You can sit back and you can enjoy the holiday season that is fast approaching with you and your family. I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I just wanted to bring a little bit different video today just to enlighten the mood a little bit and maybe give you a heads up to get on the ball now to make sure that you can succeed in buying and getting the goods that you need for this upcoming holiday season so that you will have more time to spend with your family, which is the most important thing out of the whole holiday season. And that is what we all strive for. And we all pray that everybody is able to be able to get together for their holiday season and enjoy the family time. So until next time, folks, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video, and I will catch all of you on the flip side.